Hi, my name is Ian, and I'm going to be bringing you a review on the Elite Force 1911 Tactical. The Elite Force 1911 Tactical is a CO2 gun, and straight out of the box, you'll get the gun, one magazine, and some paperwork. Unfortunately, you won't get a suppressor, though. We just added it for the extra look. This gun is virtually all metal. There's only a few plastic components, such as the plastic grips, which are interchangeable, and the plastic feeding system on side. This gun is very nice and features many trademarks, such as the Elite Force 1911 Tactical trademark, the caliber, which says Cal 6mm, and on the other side, you'll get the warning information here, saying that it's a, not a toy, and it should be not shown in public places, and then you'll get Made in Taiwan, and its own unique serial number. Back on this side, you have the safety, which is ambidextrous, so it can be operated from the left hand, or the right hand. When the safety is on, you cannot bring the slide back or pull the trigger. Another safety feature with this gun is this part. It's got to be pushed down before you can pull the trigger. If it's not pushed down, you cannot pull the trigger. But when it's pushed down, the trigger can go back. Overall, this gun has very many high points. It's very good. FPS range is about 350, so it's very good for CQB. Another feature that 1911 has is a sling mount on the bottom, which can be added for milsim players or if you just don't want to lose your gun. Overall, the Elite Force 1911 Tactical is a very good gun. It's very accurate. There's only a few complaints I have about it. First being is that when you've got a suppressor or something on, it is very wobbly and it does affect the accuracy a little bit. The second complaint I have is the paint comes off, such on the outer barrel and on the ejection port the paint rubs off and a little bit on the safety switch. My only other complaint is the mag. When loading the mag, it can be a bit of a problem when trying to load the BBs. You can't load the BBs from the top. You've got to pull this, the spring down the entire way and load them from the bottom. And you want to make sure you have a good double stack because it can lead to some feeding problems. And when you're trying to load it with like a speed loader, that's the easiest way to do it. It can be kind of a problem trying to hold the spring down and do it with the speed loader. But apart from that, I think it's a great gun. CO2 is definitely the way to go. It might be a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot easier to use and a lot more friendly for the environment. Elite Force 1911 Tactical. Hey guys, it's Matthew from I Am Airsoft. He and I reviewed this gun. This is the Elite Force 1911. Um, I'm just gonna quickly review again uh, the pros and cons, starting with the pros. Um, it's a really sturdy gun, you can feel it. Uh, it has a nice rail system on the bottom here, very realistic. It has hook down here for in case you wanna hook it to a strap or anything on your uniform. CO2, which is very reliable and you can find it almost anywhere as opposed to green gas. Um, full metal design except for the grips and some internals. Um, now I'm going to move on to cons. Uh, the first con that I have on this gun is if you have a suppressor like we do on the gun, you can feel the paint, well you can feel uh, it wobble. 
if you lift the suppressor up or down. And you can also feel the gun wobble if you shake it to the side. But that's nothing compared to how good quality this gun is. So, um, I just want to, uh, also my next con is the paint coming off the gun. Comes off almost everywhere, including the slide and the fire selector. So, that's basically all I have on the gun, and it's a Matt, really- would you stop complaining about this gun? And, it, guys, it also hurts a lot. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> that was the I Am Aristotle's review <laughs> of the Elite Force 1911. Say it again, one more time. That was I Am Aristotle's review of the Elite Force 19. <laughs> that was I Am Aristotle's review of the Elite Force 1911.